Good morning from Italy again. We're currently standing in the Pisa Centrale train station. I'm gonna take y'all along on this journey of the trains today because we're taking several trains. I get this question over and over and over on my Instagram. How do you know how to work the train system? How do you know which trains to get on? All those kinds of questions, okay? So today, uh, our journey is gonna take us from Lucca in north of Tuscany all the way down to Sorrento on the Amalfi Coast. We're gonna take a regional, actually we already took a regional train this morning from Lucca to Pisa Centrale, which is where we are now. And uh, we're gonna take another regional from Pisa over to Firenze, which is Florence. From there, we're gonna hop on the Freggio Rosa, which is the fast train, and we're gonna take that all the way down to Naples, where we'll actually hop on a private line called the Campania Express, and we'll take that down to Sorrento. So I'm gonna take y'all along the journey and try to show you as much of it as I possibly can to kind of show you how easy it is to take trains in Italy. It just takes a little bit of looking around, a little bit of research, uh, read the signs, follow the instructions. So the first thing to figure out is what kind of tickets you want. If you're just gonna make one hop, let's say you're just going from Rome to Venice, just buy your ticket, that's fine. Just go to the train station and buy your ticket from Trinitalia. If you are planning to do several journeys, like we were in this trip, we are, uh, you know, we traveled from Venice to Lucca. We made several stops around Lucca. Then we've traveled, uh, we'll be traveling all the way down to Sorrento, and then we're gonna travel back up to Rome. For that type of journey, then you want to get a Eurail pass. That way you can select the number of days you'll be traveling and you get unlimited travel on those days to anywhere you want to go. So that's what we did on this pass or on this trip. We got the Euro pass for five days. It can be used uh, at any point during the month of your journey and you get unlimited travel on those five days. So if you're using a Euro pass, then you will use the app. If you're just buying tickets, then you'll go to the ticket office. But either way, you'll use one of those two options to find um, your train journey. So you will punch in your dates and the time you wanna travel and where you're going from and where you're going to and it will tell you exactly what trains or what connections you need to make. Once you figure out what your itinerary is, the only thing you need to do is figure out which platform to go to. And think of a platform as being like a gate at an airport. You have to go to a gate to catch a particular train number like a Delta flight might be DL4927 at gate 17. For a train, you might be catching RE or regional 4928 at Ben or Benario, which is the Italian word for platform, uh, at Ben 5, which would be line number five or platform number five, however you want to say it, but you need to go to where the fives are. For this particular journey right now, I'm on platform eight. Let me see if I can see a thing back there behind me. You can see some eights back there because that's where our train is fixing to show up to take us over to Firenze, uh, Santa Maria Nabella. So there are electronic signs everywhere that will show you uh, what trains are gonna be where. They show you all the departures, all the arrivals, so you know what platform you need to be at. As you can hear behind me, they're also making audible announcements. They're letting you know what trains are gonna be where, what trains are arriving, like this one right here, and they give that in Italian as well as English usually. So even if you don't speak Italian, you'll be able to keep up with it. You can also look at the signs, like I said, because they have them everywhere. There's also paper, uh, signage like they print out a poster every day it tells the exact times of each train the train number um, the line that it's going to be on or the platform that it's going to be at and where the trains going to from our experience the train system here in italy was very efficient and the trains were almost always right on schedule this train happened to arrive in the station about 10 minutes late but it didn't cause us any issues at florence the regional and regional express trains with trinitalia are comfortable clean and air conditioned there are no class distinctions, so just hop on and take any open seat. Some train cars have upper and lower floors, and some even have receptacles for charging your devices, though you won't find any Wi-Fi on these trains. Luggage storage is very small on the trains and is shared with everyone in the train car. For this reason, I suggest only carrying small carry-on bags or backpacks and placing them on the overhead racks. The newer trains have screens showing upcoming stops, time of arrival, speed, and any other pertinent information. And just like that, we're rolling into Florence Station. Due to that short delay, we have no time to waste while getting over to the Freccia Rocha platform to catch our fast train down to Naples. On Italy's fast train network, the reservation that you must purchase in advance will assign you to a class and a car. You must check your ticket to ensure that you are boarding the correct car and sitting in the correct seat. There is plenty of signage to direct you. First class seating is more spacious and comes with more free food and drink options than the second class. Business class is even more luxurious. 
All fast trains have electrical outlets and Wi-Fi. The cars are also quieter and more comfortable than the regional trains. The fresher roasted trains travel at nearly 300 kilometers an hour, which is roughly 185 to 190 miles per hour. Due to the smooth ride though, and the wide open terrain, we didn't experience any motion sickness on our journeys. Traveling on Italy's train network, especially on the fast trains, was an unforgettable experience on this trip. The relatively low environmental impact compared to other forms of public transportation, combined with the cost effectiveness when considering the time it takes to cover great distances, makes me wish that we had more train options like this throughout the U.S. Near most train stations, you will find some form of luggage storage location. These allow you to reserve a locker to store your luggage while you hop off and explore a spot or perhaps wait for the check-in time at your accommodations. This is exactly what we decided to do while we had a long layover in Naples so we could explore the city. Napoli Centrale, which is Naples Central train station, um, and this was the part of the blog where our vlog where I was going to get on and say, hey, if you have a couple hours of a layover, you know, in between trains or in, at your stop, use that opportunity to get out, see the city, take in some of the sights. So we had four hours, and we left the train station. We went to a baggage storage place nearby here. So we didn't have to carry our backpacks around because they're heavy, and we were going to get out for the next four hours and get some pizza, explore the city, and and we were uncomfortable like the whole time the whole time I, i'm not bad mouthing naples i'm not saying don't come to naples but what we found was we were uncomfortable on all the streets we walked down traffic was crazy i mean people driving motorcycles down the sidewalks um motorcycles and mopeds like if we're crossing the street there's the four of us they're literally driving like between us and stuff so we're like grabbing kids darting out of the way it's it's a madhouse here it, appears to be an area with some pretty high crime um, it felt very uncomfortable so instead of me telling you that you should get out and see the area which I think nine times out of ten you should what I'm actually going to end up changing the message is to say that when you're out here and and when you're traveling um, listen to your gut listen to your instincts because I knew I was uncomfortable the whole time like I felt like I needed to be constantly I'm walking out in front because I've got my phone in my hand my GPS I know where we're going and I felt like the whole time I had to be looking over my shoulder at my wife and kids, make sure they're okay. I've got my bag thrown over me instead of just on my shoulder. I've got it thrown like crossbody because I didn't want to get snatched. Like it felt very uncomfortable. And, and so my message is if you're in a situation like that and you feel uncomfortable, go with it. Like trust your gut, trust your spidey senses. I looked at Megan and she's giving me this look like I don't like this situation at all. And so I'm like, you know what? We're gonna stop at this pizza stop that we're going to and we're gonna call it quits. We're gonna get our stuff. We're gonna go back to the train station and hang out. And that's exactly what we did. We were gonna to go to the pizzeria that is said to be, legend has it that this is the place that invented pizza, the very first place that made it. And we got there, the line was super long, like crazy long, backed up down the street. And we said, you know what? We don't we don't need it that, that bad. There's a pizzeria literally across the street from there. And I'm sure the pizza tastes just fine over there. We went over there and ate. And you know what? The pizza tasted great over there across the streets. We're back at the train station now. And we've got about 20 minutes or so. We're gonna be getting on the Company Express, uh, which will take us directly out to Sorrento. Um, you have to kind of like meet up with them here. You meet at the ticket office and then they take you out to the train. It's a little different situation for the rest of the trains. But um, I'll show you all some of that stuff on the Express if I can and uh, hopefully we'll be in Sorrento in about an hour. So as you can see behind me, we finally made it to Sorrento. Uh, I w intended to vlog while we were on the Campania um, Express, but it was too loud. And that's actually something I wanna talk about. That train is definitely not the same as what you would find like on a Trinitalia train. Uh, the Campania Express was definitely bumpier and it was louder than we had been used to, you know, from the rest of the trains here in Italy. 
However, it does come out to Sorrento. And as far as I know, there are only two ways to get to Sorrento by train. And one is the Campania Express. And then the cheaper option is to do the Circumvesuviana train. And uh, they basically run on the same track. They go from Napoli Centrale all the way out to Sorrento. And they stop, uh, get a few stops between here and there, especially the Campania Express. It's really the express train. It stops at a couple of the tourist stops before it gets to Sorrento. Um, Circumvesuviana stops at a lot of stops. It's much cheaper. However, there is no air conditioner in it and you're not guaranteed a seat. So you might get on the train and have to stand for the hour and a half or whatever it is to get out here. Um, if you've got your luggage, you got young kids, that's not gonna be comfortable. Obviously it's very, very hot here in Italy. So um, you definitely are going to want the air conditioner. So that's one of those things, you know, we don't splurge on everything when we're on vacation. There are some things we cut back on or we say that's not worth the money. This is one of those times when we're like, no, it's worth paying a little bit extra to get a little better experience because you're gonna get here faster. You're gonna be less tired. You're not gonna be as hot and sweaty when you get here. You're gonna have a better feeling when you arrive. You know, you can cut back later on a meal somewhere or wherever else you want to. But when it comes to experiences like that, we prefer to say, you know what, let's spend a little bit more here and make sure that we're having a much better time whenever we actually do arrive. So I'll go ahead and close this vlog out here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it answered some of your questions about trains. Like I said, I get a lot of questions about that. People ask me constantly in my DMs and stuff, how do you figure out how to ride the trains in Italy? How did that all work out? How's the ticketing work? How do you get to your train? All those kinds of questions. So I hope that this vlog was able to answer a few of your questions. Google is another resource if you have some something specific that you need to ask, uh, or you can just ask me down in the comments below and I'm sure I can get you some form of an answer because I think through this trip, well, for the entire trip that we've been here in Italy, but even just today, we went through regional train, regional express train, the uh, Freccia Rosa fast train, and then also the private train here at the very end, the Campania Express. So we kind of hit a little bit of everything, even train delays. We even had a train delay earlier this morning. So we kind of hit a little bit of everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it answered you some of your questions and uh, check back for my next videos. I'm doing quite a few while I'm here in Italy. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time.